French onion mashed potatoes. Now, I love mashed potatoes. I just use regular old russets, beautiful, uh, you know, uh, russet potatoes. Peel them up. You must start them uniform shape and size in cold water. Bring it up to a full rolling boil. You could put the lid on it to bring it to a boil. As soon as it boils, take the lid off, otherwise it's gonna make a huge mess on your stove. Don't salt the potatoes until the water comes to a boil so the salt doesn't fall to the bottom of your pot and scar the pot. The best thing I can tell you about uh, mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving, any holiday, is to make a bain marie, a water bath to hold the potatoes. When the potatoes are done, we're going to drain them, <clears throat> put them right back in the hot pot to get the excess liquid off. Let them sit there for a minute. Then you can put them through your food mill and back into a small pot. When they're mashed, you transfer them to the water bath and they can sit there literally perfect. You just keep adding a little bit of water to the larger pan. So that's a bain marie. That's how you hold your potatoes. You can make them at seven o'clock in the morning and serve them at seven o'clock at night. You caramelize some onions. That means you cook them low and very slow in olive oil and butter. Then you add a little beef stock or beef bone broth and you cool it down. I like a sprinkle of ground thyme and a fresh bay leaf in my onions. Now, this is delicious, just mixed with a vat of sour cream or creme fraiche or Greek yogurt. And a little salt and pepper to taste. And I like to add roasted garlic to mine too. You mix it, mix it, all that together. Now, here's what's interesting. We're going to take all of this and stir it into our mashed potatoes. Oh my God! Right? Uh, so, yes. I am going to season this up with a little salt and pepper and eat a whole lot of it. I'll finish stirring that together over the break, but I want to show you the gravy real quick. To our uh, flour and butter, our roux, lots of coarse black pepper, and I like Worcestershire sauce. So I put Worcestershire in my gravy. And then you add stock in a box, your best friend around the holidays, turkey or chicken. I'm using turkey because it's easy to find around Thanksgiving. I'm gonna let this thicken up. All right, French onion dip, mashed potatoes. And we're gonna just, for a little pop of color, put some chives all over the top of those fellas. And here's our little of our turkey gravy. 